I have a couple of friends that I would like to introduce you to. But before I introduce you to them, I want to make sure that you appreciate them and all the help and everything that they can do for you. So we're talking about math. And in math, we have to understand some conversions, right? We have a gallon. A gallon is four quarts. And then one quart is two pints. One pint is two cups. So how many cups is a gallon? How many pints is a quart? Uh, all of this is can be frustrating, right? And that is where my friends here are going to help you. So let me introduce you first to Gallon Man. All right. So Gallon Man is going to be here to help you. So notice how the inner portion here is a full gallon. And then we have a gallon breaks into quarts, right? Notice here we have one quart, two quart, three quart, and four quart. So one gallon is four quarts. Each quart is broken into two pints. And then each pint is broken into two cups. So Gallon Man is going to help you with those tricky conversions. Now Gallon Man also has a friend. Her name is Gallon Gal. She has the exact same four quarts, eight pints, and 16 cups as our friend Gallon Man. So choose your favorite. Are you more of a Gallon Man or more of a Gallon Gal? <laughs> Okay, so let's use our gallon man and gallon gal in a couple of math examples. Okay, so here we have a punch recipe calls for five pints of juice. How many cups is that? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at pint to cups. So one pint is two cups. So then we say five pints, because we're doing five pints times two cups is 10, 10 cups. So the five pints of juice that we need is really just going to be 10 cups. Thank you, gal. Gallon Man for helping us in this problem. Let's do another one with Gallon Gal. Okay, if a lemonade stand sells 32 cups of lemonade in one day, how many gallons did they sell? Okay, we're going all the way from cups to gallons. So I know I can count Gallon Gal has 16 cups. So 16 cups is one gallon. So I can, when I'm going from small to big, I divide. Last time we multiplied because we went from big to small. So I'm going to take 32 two cups, divide that by 16 cups, and I know that there were two gallons of lemonade that were sold. Example number three, a sports cooler holds 2.5 gallons of water. How many pints is that? So one gallon is eight pints, right? I can just count eight pints on my gallon man here. And so I go 2.5 because 2.5 gallons of water times my eight pints and I have 20 pints. So the 2.5 gallons of water is 20 pints of water. And back to our gallon gal, you have three quarts of milk and your friend gives you another two pints. How many total cups do you have? Look at that. We're going pints, quarts, and cups all in one, all together. So let's look here at our quarts. So one quart is four cups. So three quarts times four cups is just going to be 12 cups. Now let's look at the pints to cups. So one pint is two cups. So I'm going to go two points times the two cups and I get four cups total. So I take my four cups, I take my 12 cups, I add them together and I get 16 cups. Okay, now here's a bonus. How many gallons of milk do you have if you have 16 cups? Yes, that's right. You have one full gallon of milk. Okay, I want you to pause the video and try this one here on your own. So a bakery uses six quarts of milk for baking. How many pints of milk is that? that. Okay, so let's do this together. So one quart is going to be two pints. And so if I go six quarts times the two points, I get 12 pint of milk. Okay, here's another one for you. A coffee shop orders five gallons of milk each morning. How many quarts do they receive? So pause the video and try this on your own. So one gallon is four quarts. So if I have five gallons, times that by four quarts, and I get 20 quarts. Remember friends, practice makes progress. Make sure you practice this. You can do this. I believe in you. You've got it. And I will see you in our next video. Peace and God bless.